Today we're taking a look at the Leap Motion, one of the first 3D motion control systems for your computer. From a hardware standpoint, the Leap Motion is pretty tiny. The box is just 3 inches long and 1.2 inches wide, and sits very unobtrusively on your desk. Aesthetically, it looks a lot like an Apple product, with a high quality aluminum design and a rubber foot to keep it steady. Moving along to the software, the Leap Motion uses an application called Airspace as its launch pad, so to speak. Airspace is also the name of the Leap's app store, where you'll have to go to get compatible applications. Since using the Leap Motion is unlike any other way to interact with your computer, after installing Airspace, you'll be directed to a welcome orientation, which gives you a quick look at how you're supposed to interact with the device. After the demo, you're pretty much expected to figure out everything on your own, which isn't all that user-friendly. After installing Touchless, you can control your computer with the Leap Motion, which is an interesting experience to say the least. Interaction on the desktop is split into two zones, the Hover and the Touch Zone. Bringing your finger closer to the monitor brings it into the Touch Zone, simulating a tap. You can simulate many touchscreen gestures in the air, but in the current software iteration, they aren't all very well optimized. It's not a replacement for your mouse yet. To help bridge this gap is Better Touch Tool, which allows you to set up custom gestures on an app-specific basis. While this kind of customization requires a good time commitment, it does make the product a whole lot more useful. By setting up gestures for OS X Maverick's map application, I was able to patch together a simple system for navigating around although it's not perfect. Where the Leap Motion really shines is with optimized and dedicated applications, those that are available from the Airspace store. Apps like Drop Court and Cut the Rope use UIs tailored for and built around a motion control experience, rather than adapting an old interface to the new interactions. Others like Molecules and CyberScience 3D Motion are great demos of how easy working in 3D space can be with the Leap. Overall, the Leap Motion feels a little bit unfinished. The experience is overall unique and fascinating, but there's still some rough edges that need to be fixed in the software. Until then, it's a promising device unlike anything else for early adapters and developers to experiment with.